Alan! 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 Al! Alan! 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 Okay, so today I am at the uh, Malvern Hills Ultra, um, starting at the Admiral Rodney pub, uh, which is uh, somewhere around about Martley. Uh, basically, I'm gonna be running six miles to uh, Abberley, which is a turnaround point, and then 22 miles back to uh, Malvern, finishing at the base camp on the Malvern Hills. Plenty of elevation, plenty of hills, um, things that generally I'm not very good at. There are four race distances for the Malvern Hills Ultra. Uh, there's a 45 uh, mile distance, which is an out and back route. There's the 37 mile option, which starts at Suckley, comes here to the Admiral Rodney, goes to the Abberley uh, turnaround point, and then all the way back to British Camp. Um, there's the version that I'm doing today, which is um, 30 miles and then there's a 22 mile route which is basically starting at Abilene and then running all the way back to Malvern. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Okay, so the fact that it was called the Malvern Hills Ultra should have given it away, um, but we certainly weren't expecting this much. We haven't got to the hills yet. Yeah, we haven't even got to Malvern yet. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Bit of a steep hill. You're right up there, Ad. Yeah. <laughs> That's Adam. So we've been running together from the start. Also 45. Yes, yeah, also 45. Same uh, age group category, so we're fighting it out at the moment. Again, check out those views over the top. The leader of the uh, 37. My uh, Malvern Hills Ultra has just gone past us in the opposite direction. So we, uh, he's lightning quick at the minute. Certainly got us for pace. <laughs> okay, uh, we've just gone through the first checkpoint. Didn't get no footage of that, it was Adam's fault, wasn't it, Ad? Yeah, it was, I was yeah. doing some adjustment. Uh, we've now got to go back the way we came. We've got this hill to ascend. So uh, Slowly. Very slowly. So yeah, just going to be walking up this. No point killing ourselves too early in the day. Okay, just You're over. There as a witness. Yeah, <laughs> just over the seven mile marker. You've got another steep stretch to go. Don't know if you can tell from the uh, the camera angle, but yeah, certainly another walking section. Still looking good though. You okay, Ad? Tip top so far. That's been ten. Okay, we're, uh, we've just gone past the 10 mile point, so we're a third of the way into the, uh, into the race. Uh, according to our watches though, we think it's going to come up a bit short, looking about 28 and a half miles, something like that. Uh, me and Adam are still uh, in the lead. There's only a small field. Yeah. Uh, 
I think it was about 15, 20 at this distance. And there's a guy, then if you can pick him up over there, he's currently in third place in a year. He's sticking there and we can't seem to shake him off, can we add? He's good. He's very good going uphill. Yeah. Okay, so just approaching the second checkpoint back at the Admiral Rodney where we started a few hours ago. Just going to grab some water here. What about you, Ad? Yeah, so far so good. I think I need a bit of a top up of water as well, but long way to go. Yeah, still a long way to go. Hi guys. Mm. Guys, hey. How you doing guys? Yeah, not too bad, thank you. Got another steep incline. Yeah. I promise we are doing some running when we can. Yeah, <laughs> Managed to pick up a uh, 45er. Looking pretty strong. Yeah, I feel pretty now. Yeah, now I'm not left lights. Especially as it ups up as well. Yeah, yeah. It's going to get tougher. Okay, so the fact that it was called the Malvern Hills Ultra should have given it away. Um, but we certainly weren't expecting this much. We haven't got to the hills yet. Yeah, we haven't even got to Malvern yet. Um, but we're just over 15 miles. So that is the halfway point. Um, we may have actually gone over halfway if our GPS is accurate. So, but it's tough now, tough going. You all right, Ad? All right, had a, a kind gentleman lend me one of his salty gel. So hopefully that does the trick. Well, a tiny bit of cramp my the back which surprised me actually but hey ho keep going 212 is that yeah 212 we're at 282. Uh, Suckley post office checkpoint now <laughs> just over 20 miles now so uh two thirds of the way but I'm quite struggling, I feel nauseous, I feel quite sick. So, uh, struggling really to do anything at the moment, run, walk, jog, very difficult. How are you holding up, Ad? Right, How are you holding up? I'm right, yeah, I'm not too bad at the moment. I'm uh, having a second wind at the moment. Yeah. Making our way round North Hill. Punch point. Punch point. Okay, so uh, me and Adam still in first and second place. Me first, me first. <laughs> uh, our wind took us a few miles back and was in the in the lead for about four miles, four or five miles. But obviously, when we uh, got to the North Hill, uh, it's took it out of him. Uh, we managed to catch him up, go past him. We've got a bit of a gap on him. Uh, we're going to have a walk up to the beacon now. I'll just show you where that is. He's up there. Hopefully you can see uh, just exactly how high you've got to go up there. Uh, so the plan is we're just going to walk up to there, hit the punch point, and then um, we're going to cane it down all the way down to the witch. Cane Hope it? Yeah, I cane it. Cane it. Uh, hopefully build up such a, a, a substantial gap between us and our width. Yeah. And then we've agreed that we're going to go through the finish line together. Um, Have we though? Yeah, we, we, are, we, are, we, are. Uh, we have discussed their uh, 100 meter sprint techniques, but, no, know, um, but be, we've I'll started be, together and we'll probably finish together, together now. 
here we are at the beacon okay so we're getting towards the end of the race uh, getting close to British camp uh, Adam and I are going to walk uh, run through together sorry so we're uh, getting joint first well done Ad great race mate well done, Got it. Sir. Well done then, Ad. Great race, mate. Well done, mate. Thanks for taking me. Pleasure sharing first Pleasure. with you, buddy. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, you'll be able to see a, a couple more on screen that you might be interested in. See you soon. Well, that certainly was a surprise. I didn't anticipate. Uh, winning an ultra race um first time i've ever won one i've come third in one before but this is certainly the best that i've ever done um i know it was adam's first race and he was absolutely thrilled and chuffed to bits that he managed to share the win with me uh it was a pleasure running with adam we um helped each other a great deal um over the course of the 29 miles a really tough uh, certainly a lot hillier than I uh, expected it to be um, but that's the thing I uh, entered purely just to get a training run in and um, I always find that if I can do my long runs in an event or a competition then it's certainly a lot better than doing it on your own uh, in three weeks time I've got the Worcester Marathon again uh, it's just going to be a training run for me. I don't expect to get a particularly fast time or looking to get a, a great time. Um, but it, again, it's just going to be training for a ultra that I've got coming up in June.